Well, hello, YouTube! Hey guys, it's Fletch. Welcome back to the Big Sky Tactical Channel. Welcome back to my reloading table out here in my old garage. <laughs> I'm sure some of you are probably wondering, why doesn't he put up a backdrop back behind there? Uh, yeah, what you see is what you get. <laughs> hey guys, uh, today we're going to be looking at the Condor Tactical uh, multi-cam uh, drop pouch and so if you'll stick around we'll be right back Again, thanks for joining me today. I greatly appreciate it. Uh, I appreciate you subscribing to my channel so that uh, as new videos come out that you're automatically notified of the new videos and whatnot. So again, thank you. Um, we're going to be looking at the Condor Tactical Drop Pouch. And uh, <clears throat> one thing I don't think I've mentioned uh, when I've been talking about this Condor tactical multicam gear that a couple of these pieces are what I would call was it uh, National Tactical Officers Association recommended um, or, and I guess basically what that is and <clears throat> uh, yeah, I, I don't know if I've seen it anywhere but on Condor site but anyways Basically what it is, is that, you know, if you're uh, a tactical officer of some sort, you know, if you send your information to, um, you know, na the National Tactical Officers Association, it's kind of a think tank, uh, so to speak, where they can share information about good products and different things like that. And the uh, MOPC... The, the plate carrier that I just did a review on here not too long ago. That's, a, that's a recommended, I was going to say certified, I don't think that's right. It's recommended by them and then the, um, the dump pouch or drop pouch that I'm going to be showing you today is recommended by them as well. And a couple of pieces. So, you know, you, you at least have some sense, you know, that someone that, you know, <laughs> that has at least a little bit of an idea uh, of what they're doing, you know, because, you, you know, honestly, over the internet, you, you just have no idea what someone else's level of, of expertise uh, or training, you know, actually really is, and, you know, so, uh, for whatever it's worth, the this uh, piece of equipment is, uh, you know, NTAO, yeah, something like that. <laughs> Certified, so uh, hang on a second. Let me uh, move the computer out of the way and I'll, I'll get the drop pouch and we'll take a look at it. Be right back. All right, guys, uh, welcome back. Uh, as I said, this is the Condor Tactical Multi Cam Drop Pouch. Um, this is a modular system and uh, it's got. Um, <clears throat> the other half of the snap buckle here that attaches to your belt and that is currently attached to my um, Gondor Tactical Battle Belt so uh, I guess maybe I'm being lazy I don't want to take it all apart <laughs> but uh, you know so if you wanted to you could change this from being on your right leg or your left leg or other accessories depending on however you want to, to set up your rig. So uh, let's start at the top. Uh, this particular product here has a pretty neat feature, I think anyways, um, and that is that you've got this, um, excuse me, flap here, and there's uh, um, <laughs> tongue tied 
there are stays here so that this will stay open. So if you're in an environment that you know that you may be needing to dump your mags, um, you can just simply push that back and with that stay on there, it'll stay open. And you've got elastic on here and the idea being is that when you're done with a mag, you just drop it down in there. And the elastic on there will keep it from falling out. <clears throat> but they do fit in there quite easily. And, you know, if you're, uh, depending on what you're doing, you know, if you're doing something pretty dynamic like repelling Ozzy or something like that, you know, your, your stuff isn't going to fall down or, you know, if you take a digger, <laughs> whatever the case may be, um, you're not going to have to worry about that as much with, with something like this. Um, the other thing that, you know, just off the top of my head that, that I like about this uh, quite a bit more than like the ones that just unfold is that this isn't swaying, you know, down on your leg, clinking around <laughs> uh, as the, just the ones that roll up and they're basically just a big bag. And so for me, uh, you know, I thought that this was a much better design. And like I mentioned earlier, this is, you know, recommended by the National Tactical Officers Association for whatever that's worth to you. Uh, and then, you know, if, if for whatever reason you don't, you know, you know, the conflict is over or whatnot, and you don't want to lose your magazines that are in there, or you don't want to get, you know, dirt, junk, and grain in there, and that's another neat thing about this, um, you know, just the open... Uh, dump pouches, they'll fill up with dirt and leaves and twigs and all kinds of crap. And even when this is in its open configuration, it still has some way to keep stuff from getting in there. So, uh, in my opinion, that, that's a great design. Uh, when you're done with it and you're ready to close it, just push it over here. Some nice uh, heavy duty uh, hook loop fa uh, fasteners here that hold it down. And as you can see, you know, um, everything is seam taped, tacked where it should be tacked, and, you know, um, excuse me, you know, double seamed. So, again, you know, everything on the, you know, this current Condor tactical gear appears to be very well made. And, you know, I, I haven't seen, personally, I haven't seen anything yet that would make me think that, that, um, you know, Condors, you know, slip back to, you know, where they were at when they started, so to speak, or anything like that. And actually, it's just the opposite. So, um, looking at the side of it here, you know, you've got some molly webbing on both sides, front and back. You know, I suppose if you wanted to put, like, maybe, um, you know, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, a one magazine, um, holder on there or something like that, you know, that could ride there or a small radio radio holder or something like that. You could also mount on there. And then when you're ready to retrieve your mags, you've got a pull handle here and you just pop it open. And uh, here's the inside and you can see the Velcro, or excuse me, the elastic that we were looking at earlier from the inside. And the mouth of this has got, um, you know, a hard rubber stay here. So, you know, that much of it right there is a hard piece of plastic. It's a stay that makes the mouth of this stay open so that when you've got this thing closed and you're dropping your mags down in here, that they always have somewhere to go because the mouth of this is always held open by that plastic stay. So, uh, you know, again, it, it appears to be, you know, designed and built very well. When I've used it, you know, uh, shooting out at the range, <clears throat> I haven't had any issues with it, you know. It, it was very easy to get the magazines to drop down in there. Now, I will tell you that AK-47s uh, are because they're longer and they have a curve to them, um, you're not going to be able to get as many of those in here, but they will easily fit in here. And especially, you know, once you learn how to put them in, I would say, um, you know, because they kind of have the banana shape, uh, an AK mag does, 
So if you kind of rock it in like this, you know, you can hold four or five, yeah, four anyways, in here pretty easily. And uh, in, in, if they're an AR-15, it'd be even that much easier. They just, you know, plop right down in there. But <clears throat> uh, again, like I've been talking about with this Condor Tactical Series, you know, the little details like uh, right here, you know, the drain hole, and you got a painted grommet. And so, you know, Condor is doing the things that they need to do to, you know, raise the bar, raise the level, so to speak, uh, of the quality of their products. So, uh, next on the inside of the product is the leg strap. And as you can see, this black material here is a rubber coating that's on the nylon so that <clears throat> if you have this on pretty tightly onto your leg, that it doesn't slide around, you know, side to side or up and down. It will stay in place really pretty darn good. And then, you know, depending on what school of, of thought that you belong to, you can set up your buckle one of two ways. Um, the way that I have mine set up right now, and I don't think I'm going to keep it this way now that I've had more time to, to think about it and to actually use it, but if the buckle is in the front and you're running and you're going through uh, briars and thickets or something like that, or crawling through sagebrush, things like that, in my opinion, it seems like there would be a lot more of a chance for this buckle to get caught on something and then release. Even though this is a, a good, you know, heavy duty buckle with a very positive, uh, you know, there's no doubt about it when that baby locks in there, you know, it's good, good quality stuff. But uh, you can take this off and turn it the other way. And actually, I'll just show you that right now. It's pretty easy. You basically just got two keepers here, two keepers here on the outside. And then this is the piece that ties into the modular system. And then you would just flip this over the other way, like this. And now your buckle is going to be in the back. So that you know, as you're running through brush and, and thickets and whatnot, <clears throat> that uh, That, I, that would be on my left leg, right? So it's going to be a little bit harder to get on because you have to buckle this, you know, back on the back side of your leg. But as you're moving through brush and debris, that buckle is not going to be rubbing up against anything as you're moving through it and possibly releasing the buckle. But and then, as you can see on the front here, you know, you've got some Velcro for, you know, uh, morale patches or, or your name or whatever the heck you might want to put on there. But, uh, you know, out, out of you know, all of this uh, Condor tactical gear that I bought, and, and obviously if you've seen my full loadout video, you know, I, I bought, you know, a whole loadout from Condor. And as a whole, I'm very happy with it. And <clears throat> this is one of my favorite pieces. Um, I think it's very well made, very well designed and um, a lot better, in my opinion, than the bags, you know, that just, you know, you, you roll them up and then, you know, they, they have like snaps or Velcro or something on your belt. And when you're ready to use them, they just roll out and you just drop your mags in there. Well, <clears throat> as I said before, they fill up with dirt, leaves, twigs, <laughs> whatever, and it's down there in your magazines and then it's all flopping around in your magazines. And with this system, when you're not using it, you can, you know, leave it closed. And if you're in a situation where, you know, you, there might be an expectancy that you're going to need to go dynamic, um, even in the open configuration here, you at least have a little bit of covering here that's going to keep crap from getting in there and your magazines from falling out. So, uh, and then, you know, to finish where we left off, now here is the part that ties into your battle belt. Let me grab that real quick, just so. If you haven't watched my other videos, this probably isn't going to make sense to you unless I show you. <laughs> so here's a battle belt, and here's the, the, the part of the modular system that I'm talking about. So <clears throat> it just clicks in there like that. 
and now it's tied into my battle belt. But if I wanted to, this is a holster, and it's also part of the modular system. If I wanted to, I can take the strap pouch and put it on the right side. And if a lefty was going to be using this gear for any reason, they would want their holster on the other side. Well, it will also snap in. Now, obviously, you know, you got to change your, your uh, holster configuration around so that it's facing the right way or have a left-handed holster. But you get what I'm pointing at. And there's also like the drop leg platforms that you can get where you can mount you know, several things to them because it's like a panel with a bunch of molly on it. So, but anyways, yeah, that just kind of gives you an idea of what I'm talking about <clears throat> with the modular system. Well, guys, thanks very much for joining me today. I greatly appreciate it. I hope you're having a wonderful day. If you have any questions about, uh, you know, this Condor tactical uh, drop pouch, please feel free to, you know, drop me a line. I'd be happy to help you if I can. And um, it, if this is something that you might be on the market for, uh, I would ask that you'd also use my affiliate link that is going to be in the description box. And if it's not in the description box, um, you can always go to BigSkyTactical.com. Again, that's BigSkyTactical.com. And there'll be links in there to my Amazon A-Store, which is also, you know, basically the exact same thing as just being an affiliate of Amazon. So, but... Full disclosure, you know, this is my property. I bought it with my own money. My initials are on it, so not freebie stuff. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks. Hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.